Some Nigerians in Madrid, Spain, who include Apostle Lazarus Obamoyi, Evangelist Greg Omagbo, and Chris Sukbere, said the rate of courtism in Nigeria schools, especially at the university level, is alarming. They pointed out that search for responsibilities, security, injustice, social identity, financial assistance, frustration, poverty, societal decay, and search for satisfaction of one's aspirations and needs are some of the reasons students engage in court activities in schools. I would accrue 40% of the blame to uh, parents, 40% of the blame to the government, and maybe 20% of the blame to uh, the youth themselves. The scripture says, in Proverbs, train up a child, which means that responsibility of training the child is not on the child, it is on the parent. You know, we also, there's an also an adage that says that you know, charity begins at home. Uh -huh. So the kind of society that people grew up from, or the family they grew up you know, from, you know, could be one of the, you know, the source that lured the people into such you know, a situation. Commenting on ways to curb courtism in Nigerian schools, the respondent said government should include moral education in primary and secondary schools curriculum and in tertiary institutions in the country, as well as provide adequate facilities for extracurricular activities such as sports and games, amongst others. They also advised parents to give enough time to listen to their children at home and satisfy their emotional, psychological and physical needs in order for them not to be involved in court activities. We cannot start to fix those that are already bad. We need to begin by going to the grassroots and making sure the little ones, we have something on ground for them. Go to the schools, start to invest in these little kids. Let's go back to entire sports. Let's go back to the children becoming much more active and productive with something that they, they, they need to feel proud. So when you do this, when the older group starts phasing out, you start raising a group that is more sensible. When Ali was a governor of Edo State, there was a free education. When you go to technical schools, they have instruments where students go back to learn work. And when they come back, they have something doing. But because the, the government has neglected this area, you discover that now the youth we have these days, they are, they, they are something else. There's a, it's a popular saying that uh, an uh, idle mind is a devil to worship. Now when you, are not, you don't have something doing, then you begin to think of uh, negative things. So if these uh, people, if they have something doing, then I think they will be able to concentrate on things that will be doing so that tomorrow they will be a man or women of themselves. Nigerians in diaspora are of the view that government at all levels should provide adequate facilities for sporting activities in primary, secondary and the universities as a way of reducing the rate of students' involvement in courtism. Adesuwa Latu reporting.